Hi guys, it's Lovely Peaches, and um, I wanted to do a Nicki Minaj appreciation video. Um, one thing about me is I'm a huge barb. I love Nicki Minaj so much. And the thing is, like, I'm thinking about Nicki 24-7. When I go to sleep, I dream about Nicki. When I wake up, I look at Nicki's pictures. When I go to sleep, I look at Nicki's pictures. She's my wallpaper on, on almost every device. Like, I love Nicki Minaj. Um, I got her name on my nails. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Nicki Minaj. Um, so I love her so much. And I want to talk about why Nicki Minaj is so precious and why we should all value Nicki Minaj. Uh, first of all, I feel like anybody who doesn't, who doesn't love Nicki Minaj is racist because... There's nothing not to love about this woman. She's perfect. She has no flaws. She's innocent. She does no wrong. But yet there's people out there who don't like Nicki Minaj. And it just like really irritates me. If I ever meet somebody who say they don't like Nicki Minaj, I distance myself away from them because something is not right with them. Like Nicki is absolutely perfect. There's nothing you can say wrong about this woman. When you look at her, she's absolutely perfect. She has no flaws. Like just she's so amazing. I love her. But um... I feel like if you're if you are out protesting and you're not a Nicki Minaj fan, you shouldn't be out there because you don't stand for black people. Nicki is an icon. Like she rules the world. Like she's the most perfect person in the entire world. Like when it comes to the, your life, it should always be God first, then Nicki Minaj. Because Nicki is like a huge priority in my life. Like she's all I think about. Like I love her so much. I would die for her and I would take bullets for her. Like she is so freaking perfect. Like and then she's so humble about it. Like she's really, really humble. So I love that woman. Like she's freaking amazing. Like how could you not like Nicki Minaj? If you're a black person and you just like Nicki Minaj... You just, I don't know what to say about you because it's not normal. Every black person should be so happy that we can be able to say that Nicki Minaj is a part of our race. Like, Nicki is absolutely perfect. She has the biggest fan base in the world. Like, she just got her second number one in only one month. Like, she's the fucking queen. Like, nobody has reached the amount of success as Nicki Minaj. She's the number one artist in the whole entire world. And... I just don't understand how, I don't understand. I don't understand how anybody could dislike Nicki Minaj. She's literally Nicki Minaj. Like, honestly, if I ever see somebody talking bad about Nicki Minaj, I try to find a way to get revenge. Like, I'll try to flatten their tires, put water in their gas thing, like anything to avenge Nicki Minaj, you know? So, if you're black and you don't like Nicki Minaj, something is not right. You need to think to yourself, why don't I stand the most amazing perfect, the most amazing person in the whole entire world? Like, she's amazing. Like, the only people who shouldn't be huge Nicki Minaj fans are people who are, like, in their 60s, 70s, who don't know who she is. Other than that, you should, you should worship the ground this woman walks on. Like, she's freaking amazing. And it's one of my dreams to just... To touch her hair. Like, she's so freaking amazing. And I really want to sniff her hair. Like, she's... Wow. I love you, Nicki Minaj. And if you see this, I love you so much. And don't worry about the haters. Because at the end of the day, you are Nicki Minaj. Like, I don't think you realize how perfect you are. Like, look at yourself. You're Nicki Minaj. You're freaking perfect. And also, I want to thank Nicki for following me on Instagram. Because that was one of the best days of my life. And I remember I was crying so so hard so thank you so much nikki i love you so much and there's people who dislike you but it's like for every two people that dislike you two hundred thousand people love you so you're the queen we love you and honestly i feel like if anybody don't like nikki it's definitely out of envious because i feel like a lot of people they just like to hate because i see one of the kings, 6 9 he get a lot of hate for no reason. And y'all might be like, oh, he did this, he did that. But he's still a human with feelings. And he gets a lot of hate. But I doubt he cares. Like, he's living his best life. So, next time you hate on 6 9 just realize he's living better than you. So, y'all like to hate on 6 9 just because it's a trend. And I noticed that a lot of people like to hate on people because it's a trend. Like... One person don't like 6 9 so you don't like 6 9 You see, like, a group of people over here don't like 6 9 so you're like, oh, I'm going to be like everybody else, so I'm going to hate on 6 9 You know, but it, it's just bitterness. It's just plain bitterness. It's just plain being cruel, being bitter, being unhappy in life. But, hey, 
this video ain't about 6 9 I know y'all gonna hate on him regardless because y'all jealous of that man. So keep being jealous. That's on y'all. But anyways, um, I started standing Nikki. Um, I remember her first song I ever heard of hers. It was either Moment for Life or Super Bass. I think that was like around the same era. I really do think it was. It was definitely Moment for Life. That was the first song I ever heard of Nicki Minaj. And to be honest, I've always loved it, Nicki. But as I got older, I started realizing, you know, I'm like always looking at this woman pictures. Um, I'm like always listening to her music. And I realized like, wait, I'm a barb. Like, it, like the process, like. I feel like I became a, like a, a hardcore barb. Um, let's see. I became like a hardcore barb at least two to three years ago. And to be honest, I hate to say this, but I used to like other female rappers because I thought that they all knew who birthed them. And that was Nicki Minaj. I thought they knew this. So I automatically think, you know, it's okay to like other female rappers because they already, they stand Nicki Minaj. But then after that situation where a female rapper threw a shoe at her, that's why I was like, no, no. Unless they're showing consistent love to Nicki Minaj, like Asian Doll. Asian Doll genuinely loves Nicki Minaj. Unless they're showing consistent love to Nicki, it's like, no, I can't listen to you. Because first of all, you wouldn't have a career without Nicki Minaj. Like Nicki Minaj is the reason that any female rapper is allowed to be them, you know? Like Nicki runs so y'all can walk. And y'all need to remember that about Nicki. And the thing is, like, Nikki has inspired so many people. Nikki has inspired so many people, but some of y'all are just in denial. I know that a lot of you female rappers who don't want to admit it, that don't want to pay homage, I know y'all be boping Nikki Minaj off of camera. So at the end of the day, she inspired you. Nikki, I'm going to say how Nikki has inspired me. Now, I don't rap, I'm a stinger. Um, Nikki has inspired me because I look at her interviews and she talks about haters. And it's like, would I be able to deal with all the hate if I wasn't a Nicki Minaj fan? And I didn't hear her sit there and talk about haters and why they hate on you and because they're jealous. So I feel like if I wasn't a Nicki Minaj fan and I didn't hear her inspiring words, would I make it in the pop industry? Probably not because it's like a lot of hate. But then I realized that's out of jealousy. So Nicki Minaj, if you actually listen to her talk, she's an inspiration because she'll tell you how to deal with that. Like you have to listen to Nicki Minaj. A lot of people ask me like, you know, how do you deal with all the hate? I stand Nicki, baby. And barbs will always prosper. Barbs lives matter the most. Okay. So she's inspired me to not let hate get to me and to be honest i'm in the pop music industry and the female rap industry is way harder because every female rapper that come in the game they get compared to nikki because the bar is like way up here she's the standard for rap you know like so people pick on her because everybody automatically knows that she's the best so people pick on her so i know that her genre is even more toxic because people pick on her because she's number one she's the best so she has to deal with a lot way more hate it's just crazy to me you know because this one woman deals with all this hate and she only gets hate because she's the best it's like just like super toxic so i feel sometimes it just makes me cry when i see somebody hate on Nicki minaj like i will literally go to jail if i see somebody hate on Nicki minaj like it's just crazy so the fact that this this one woman can deal with all this hate because she thinks she knows that she's the best, but she's just super humble about it. Like Nikki knows she's the best. Like ain't none of these rap girls touching her. Nobody else has even been close to achieving her success. Like she's reached the most success other than any artist in the whole entire world. No artist can catch up to her. So at the end of the day, Nikki knows she's the queen. It's literally her name. She's the queen. And as long as she knows this, that's all that matters. Like, I always love Nikki. I always have her back. And I'm personally embarrassed because I used to think it was okay to, like, support these female rappers. But I didn't know their MO. I didn't know that they disliked Nikki Minaj. Because a lot of y'all gonna bring that up. Like, you was listening to Old Girl last year and yada, yada, yada. I didn't know. I didn't know that she was hating on Nikki. I didn't know about that. I was like, you know, people putting them against each other, yada, yada, yada. I didn't know that the whole story, okay? I wasn't really paying attention to all that. I didn't know that. But once I figured out that they was hating on Nicki, I instantly deleted all their music. You don't see me listening to them now. Like, the moment you cross Nicki, you go against Nicki, it's going to cause you. Because you notice, and I'm not going to say no names, but you notice when that girl from last year who threw that shoe at Nicki, you notice that Nicki basically 
put her out of business. Nobody wants to book her no more. Nobody wants to work with her no more. Nikki has the most, Nikki is the most powerful person in the industry. So the fact that that girl still hasn't apologized is just crazy to me. Because Nikki is the most powerful person in the industry. And yeah, she's number one. So like, I mean, if you go against Nikki, just know it's going to cost you. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Anyways, um, I was actually going for hours about why I love Nikki. Like, she's super inspiring. And, like, just know, just know that if you want to be a female rapper, and even if you want to be a singer or something like that, that when it comes to being in the industry, Nikki is the blueprint. And that's for all dramas. Even though she may not sing, she, not, she may not be a rock star or a pop star or any of that. No matter what genre of music you want to do, even a gospel, even gospel, no matter what genre in the industry you want to do, Nikki is the blueprint as a person. Because if you listen to her interview, she'll tell you how to be in the industry. It doesn't matter what genre you're doing. It's just the fact that she's telling you how to handle the industry. So if you really want to be famous, yada, 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 be in the industry, Nikki is the blueprint. Especially if you want to be a female rapper, because you ain't going to make it without looking at Nikki. If you want to be a female rapper and you don't stand Nikki Minaj, you might as well give that shit up. Because Nikki is the queen. And if you come into the industry thinking you're going to disrespect her and not give her her homage, think again. Think again. But yeah, it's honestly, it just makes me sad that the most hate she gets is from her own kind. If you're black and you're putting down another black person, and I noticed that because a lot of people be like... <sighs> A lot of people be like, you know, peaches get more hate from the black audience. And I know that, but I don't say nothing about it. Like, I see it. But it's the thing that black people hate their own kind, but they're outside marching. So it's like, okay, okay. Because y'all don't support y'all own kind. Y'all don't support the black artists coming up. Y'all hate the most. So it's like, y'all out there marching for what? I said what I said. Y'all out there marching for what? Because I've seen people out there marching. People who don't even stand Nicki Minaj. And I just roll my eyes. Like... How are you out there marching for BLM, but you don't stand Nicki Minaj? It don't make sense. How are you out there marching for BLM, but you but you dislike Nicki Minaj? That's crazy. You what? Like it's I'll be like okay, black people don't support their own kind, and I said what the hell I said. Y'all don't support y'all kind. It is what it is. Nobody's gonna feel, take that seriously if you out there hating on your own kind. That's all I want to say. And let me tell you something. For, for my people out there who get a lot of hate, who get a lot of haters, 6 9 If 6 9 ain't received it, this is for you. All the people out there that constantly getting hate, getting hated on, getting uh, these rude comments. First of all, I want to say, and this is for everybody. This is not just Nikki, because Nikki knows she that bitch. She know that she's the queen. She already know that. So this is for all the people out there who, who are coming up but getting a lot of hate. Especially people who get hate for being different. Um, first of all, you got to think about what type of person is hating on you. People with the least always doing the most. Okay? So, you got to realize that these people aren't happy in their own skin. First of all, the people that hate on 6 9 is ridiculous. First of all, a lot of people hate on 6 9 because it's a trend. I don't know who started it. I don't know where it started. Whatever. It's a trend to hate on 6 9 it's just a trend. It is what it is. It's a trend. Um, he don't care. So, it's a trend. And first of all, you got to think to yourself, if you get on this haters, you got to think to yourself, this is the internet. The main thing is people, you need to focus more on the fact that your fans should be your everything. Your fans should always be your everything. Um, you, a lot of people, they focus more on the hate than their fans. And the thing is, I focus on my fans the most because I love them so much. They mean the world to me. So you need to focus more on the positive than the negative. I mean, there's so many people out there who love you. Like 6 9 even though you got a big hate train on you right now, there's millions of people, including me, who will literally die for you. Like, for every, now 6 9 he got a big hate train. For the 100,000 people that don't like 6 9 there's 2 million who do. So at the end of the day, you got to focus on the positive. Because there's always going to be somebody that don't like you. Especially when you put yourself out there to be famous. There's always going to be somebody that doesn't like you. 
At the end of the day, even in real life, even in your regular jobs, there's always going to be that bitch at the, at the corner that don't like you. Like, there's always going to be somebody that doesn't like you. That's the thing. There's always, like, always. You got to put this in your head. Not everybody is going to like you. There's people who don't like Tamla Man, and she's, like, completely innocent. She's a gospel singer. There's people that don't like that woman. So there's always going to be somebody that doesn't like you, no matter what. No matter what. No matter what you do. So you just have to put that in your head, and I mostly want to say this, and I'm trying to give this advice to everybody who's worrying about people, be, who's worrying about being bullied and people not liking them. I just want to say this, and this is something I tell everybody. Any human out there who has to put another human down to feel better about themselves, they're, they're putting their insecurities out on you. Any human who feels like they have to tear another human down to feel good about themselves or is not happy in their own skin. I promise you, these be the saddest people. The only way they're able to vent is by hating on you. They're going to go on your page and you're going to hate on you because they hate themselves. Anybody who has to tear another person down, when they write in these comments, they're not really talking about you. You know that, right? When they're writing these mean, hateful comments, they're not talking about you. They're talking about themselves. They're writing their own securities down. But they're going to put your name on it instead to feel good about themselves. It's kind of a way of venting, even though it's messed up. You got to understand that's how a lot of people vent. A lot of people are just like, you know, life sucks. I fucking hate it here. What can I do to bring somebody else down? So instead of trying to find happiness within themselves, they're going to try to bring you down to their level. So always remember this. When you're getting hate, these are people who are unhappy. They're sad. They're not happy in life. Always remember this. When somebody's writing that lone hate paragraph to you trying to bring you down, think to yourself what position they're in. Like, these are haters. This, haters, a definition is a hater is somebody who's sad, who needs to bring you down and feel good about themselves. That's why they're hating on you. And this is something I always think to myself when I see hate comments. I have to be like, okay. Okay, somebody didn't get the bonus this year. Okay, so it's like, whatever. Just keep scrolling. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I know people hate on me because that's out of jealousy. So that's why you don't see me caring. You don't see me responding to that. I don't care. And I keep trying to tell... Other people that, people that's coming up and stuff like that, like when I see them arguing, like public figures that are always arguing with fans, because that's basically, the haters be fans, they be your biggest supporters. The thing is, the haters stay sharing your stuff, so your haters are your biggest supporters. So when I see these uh, influencers hanging with these undercover, I mean, when I see these influencers arguing with these undercover fans, I'd be like, hey, chill out, you know, you're giving them the attention they want. Well, you respond to them. And this is for all the influencers watching this. When you respond to your haters, you're giving them exactly what they want. If you're going to do anything, block them. Block them. Don't respond. Block them and move on. Block it. Just block them. Stop responding to your haters. Stop. You're giving them the attention they want. Okay? So stop responding to haters. Block them. And go about your day. When you arguing back and forth with these people, these people are fans of you low-key. Haters are low-key fans. So when you responding to them, they at home screenshotting everything you're saying, sending it to their friends. Hey, I got so-and-so to reply to me. I'm on fire like that. All I had to do was leave a hate comment, and I got a whole celebrity replying to me. Period. Okay, they at school flexing. So stop. Just stop. Don't respond to it. So anyways, I hope I help somebody out there who's dealing with hate and negativity. Um... I hope that help a few people who was lost to start standing Nicki Minaj. Because if you don't stand Nicki Minaj, you're a loser. So, anyways, I want to I want to exit out with this. Um, Nicki, you are loved. Um, like you're literally an icon. Like I can't even explain it to words. Like the love that I have for you and that millions of others have for you. Like. You're Nicki Minaj. Like, you are you run the world, honey. Like, you run the world. There's no other artist that's even close to your level. Like, you run the world. And one thing I love about Nicki, and I'm about to sign off, but I just want to say a few more things about the queen. One thing I love about Nicki is that she is so unproblematic. She doesn't argue with people. 
Like, she minds her own business. She doesn't argue with people. She comes, she goes to the studio, she releases her music, she does her shows. She goes back to living her life. She minds her own business. And first of all, I want to say congratulations to Nicki Minaj on her marriage. And I know I've said this before, but I want to say congratulations because I've been watching you go through this roller coaster for years. Um, different guys who didn't deserve your love. Like Meek, he yeah, asked his name. He didn't deserve you. And that's why he's sick to this day. Like he's just sick looking at Nicki Minaj winning. Because honey, he's obsessed with you. Okay? So it was just as a fan watching Nicki Minaj go through this roller coaster for years of being with different guys who didn't even deserve to be in her presence. And seeing her find somebody who actually loves her, someone who makes her happy, someone who just always has her corner. And a lot of y'all like to hate on him. But he's married to Nicki Minaj. I'm sure he doesn't care about your hate because he won. Um, so he won. So I don't think he cares what you say about him either. But um, Nicki, congratulations. Um, I've heard Nicki Minaj is pregnant, but she hasn't confirmed it yet. But I see the little baby bump that she's covering with her hands. So congratulations on your husband and your pregnancy, Miss Nicki Minaj. Like, we love you so much. It's like... It's like all the stuff that she's been through and for her to come out to be the number one artist in the whole entire world and to finally marry the king and to be pregnant. Like, I'm just so happy for her, like, because Kenny good looking. He a king, period. So congratulations, Nikki. We love you so much. Um, Y'all need to stream the pink print. Nikki need to make some more music. Because I'm tired of having the same songs on repeat. Nikki need to make some more music. Um, so yeah. Um, stand Nikki Minaj. Buy the pink print. Also, how did I forget this? Congratulations, Nikki Minaj, on going number one with trolls. Congratulations to 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine is the king of rap, and Nikki is the queen of rap, and they keep proving it over and over again, but y'all like to deny it. So con congratulations to Nikki Minaj and 6ix9ine on trolls going number one. And to be honest, when trolls went number one, I wasn't surprised. I mean, listen to the song. Like, you can tell like they put a lot of effort into the song because like it's lyrically amazing the beat is amazing the room room like it's really really good so like after hearing the song it's no surprise that it went number one just saying like how could it not so congratulations to Nicki Minaj the queen of rap and 6 9 the king of rap on going number one on trolls um well yeah I'm about to sign off um thank you all for watching um, my Instagram is Lovely Peaches Music 100, L O V E L Y P E A C H E S M U S I C 100. Lovely Peaches Music 100. Um, thank you to everybody watching. Um, God bless y'all. Um, love you guys so much. Uh, I want to say thank you to my fans who are always supporting me, always defending me against haters and always having my back. I always see that and I love you guys so much. So thank you so much for always supporting me and having my back. It really does mean a lot to me. Like more than y'all will ever know. Like y'all are the only family I have. Like my fans are literally my only family. Like they're all I have. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for loving and supporting me. Um, see you guys later in my next video. Mwah. Peaches loves ya.